So first thing we're going to do is sketch out all the basic shapes, so the eyes, the beak and the nose. Next, to break it down into really simple parts, what we're going to do is we're going to be using three different colours. We're going to be using white and we're going to circle it around the beak, around the nose and the eyes. And just be rough at this point, the important thing is to get a good amount of colour and nothing that's too opaque. We're also going to get it to go around the hand. And now we're going to be moving on to brown, circling that around the eye, before moving on to a lighter shade of brown and filling that up pretty much for the rest of the arm underneath the eyes and then dabbing it a little bit along the top of the knuckle so that there's a little bit of contrast between the brown and the lighter brown. Fill in the beak and just feather out the edges before doing the eyes which is very simple, a yellow circle and then a black circle in the middle. This is pretty much where it starts to come alive a little bit more. We're going to circle the eye and you want to use a very very thin brush and we're going to be using this to draw in all the feathers and all the little details and this is what's going to make it go from something that's quite flat and one dimensional to something which looks a little bit more alive. So you're going to circle the eye and then using a variation of brown, the light brown, black and then also a normal shade of brown. We're going to create the feathers and draw in all the tiny little details and this is the most time consuming part but it's the part that makes it look good. And that's it, you're done.